Sorry, there was one m more wonderful appreciation from Sister Liz King, and I was sat in my office just now, kicking myself. It was back on my computer, so uh, I'll bring that uh, shortly. So the scriptures for this morning, Genesis 1, good place to go in this season. You're in there somewhere. Verse 26 and 27. And then you can uh, uh, put a mark in Job 19 and Romans 8. Job 19 and Romans 8. Amen. Is anybody hooked up, Brother Andrew, this morning? All right. So got greetings to everyone on the video when you see the, the message this morning. Amen. I'm, I'm hooked up to Elohim this morning. Amen. Hooked into the telephone connection. Amen. Telephone to glory. Amen. Praise be to God. Genesis 1 and uh, Job 19 and Romans 8. <clears throat> now let's go to Genesis 1 and verse 26. And God said... Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the sea, over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. In his own image. Isn't that something? Yeah. Amen. Job 19 yeah. and reading verse 23 to 26. Oh, that my words were now written. Now in these few verses before, he's got to his lowest point. He's really low that he said, the children despise me, my friends abhorred me, my bone cleaveth to my skin. And uh, he's really uh, on the ash heap. The worst point. But that's the point where God will meet you. He'll get you right down there sometimes. Amen. And then between verse, something must have happened between verse 22 and 23. Some inspiration must have flooded over his soul. He was a prophet, remember? Amen. And despite all that was happening to his flesh and all that was happening to his spirit, something moved right down, praise God, to his soul. Oh. And he raised up, oh, that my words were now written. He knows he's about to say something that's, that's uh, eternal. Oh, that they were printed in a book, that they were graven with an iron pen and led in the rock forever. And here they come the words. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though the skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold, and not another, though the rains be consumed within me. Hallelujah. Glory, he broke into the Spirit. Oh my, my, my. May that happen this morning to us. Amen. He's the same God. And what happened to Job, amen, is a type of what's happening to us now. Amen. Romans 8, verses 18 to 21. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, Job, are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature, the creation, Waited, waits for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope. Amen. Because the creature itself uh, also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Oh God, what a prophecy laying for 2,000 years in the sacred texts, now picked up by Malachi 4 and declared to be the word for this bright age. Complete deliverance, total liberty, change into the glorious liberty of the sons and daughters of God. Father, may it happen present tense this morning as the word yet goes forth upon these predestinated seeds of God. May each one be totally delivered. If they're sick, may they be totally healed. If they're bound, may they be totally set free. If they're down, may they go up, up, up into heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. May we go way back before the beginning, in the beginning, from the beginning. Praise God and back into time no longer again. May that word live in us this morning, Father. Bless the word seeds in here we pray. And Lord, we'll turn all the glory and all the honor and all the praise back to King Jesus. We can't wait to crown you, Lord. King of kings and Lord of lords. Bless your children in Jesus Christ's name and anoint the word we pray for your glory. Amen and amen and amen. Give him a shout. 
not a clap, a shout. I don't want to hear any clapping now. I just want to hear a shout. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Shout for joy. Glory. God bless you. God, that's right. You see, your whole spirit's got to do it now. It's easy to clap politely, but when you shout, you've got to put more into that. You've got to summon your spirit to worship God. So praise God. Take that with you now through the service. <laughs> Amen, Brother Tim. All right. God bless you. You may be seated. Amen. See what a shout does? It blows out the flues. Amen. A shout does not come from the flesh like this. It comes from the heart, the spirit. It blasts out reason, affection, conscious memory. Praise God. It loosens up to let the word in. God will set ambushments against those demons when you worship God. Amen. Chronicles. All right. God bless you. Now, amen. I want you to stay close to me in this word here. <clears throat> amen. Amen. And my, my title this morning is, Let Us Make Man in Our Image. I feel good just saying that. Let us make man in our image. Woo. What a statement that was. Glory to God. <clears throat> My subject is, from a thought in Elohim, to a word seed in the Logos, to the manifested sons of God. Here we come, praise God. Brother Francis, right down the pipe, down the horizontal rainbow. We're going back again, but we're going to leave a testimony that we worship God. Amen. As Brother David Nanton said on Friday, if you do nothing else, you come here early and you pray out those fallen angels out of here. You worship God in a half hour. You give God praise and honor. Amen. Otherwise, the rocks will cry out. And for an inspiration, when the bride knows who she is, the rapture will go. It's breaking in us. Hallelujah. All right. Amen. Amen. She is him. Glory. You may be seated. Amen. Going to be trying to be out of here within uh, uh, 50 minutes. So give God your best. Amen. Let us make man in our image. This scripture is often used by Trinitarians as evidence there's three gods. Let us. One, two, three. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Make man in our image. But if you ever look in the mirror, to see an image in the mirror it reflects what's looking in the mirror isn't that right and when they when they created man in his image there was only one of them in the mirror Adam so how can there be three standing outside the mirror saying in our image and there's only one in the mirror doesn't even make sense hallelujah there is a Father, there is a Son, there is a Holy Ghost. But when he looks in the mirror, there's only one of them. It shall be light in the evening time. The path to glory those elected seeds will surely found. Praise God. You shall know that his name is one and the Lord God is one. Elohim became Logos. Logos was Melchizedek. Melchizedek became Jesus. And he's the same God. Amen. Glory. Wonderful Jesus. There's no other name. Praise God. The name that God took in Jesus. By which man can be saved. You may be seated. But the prophet brought the mystery. With every other mystery. It was not three persons. But out of Elohim. Praise God came the Logos. Amen. Out of spirit came Theophany. Amen. And Elohim said to Logos. Let us. Make man in our image. Praise God. Amen. So Adam was mechanics and dynamics together. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Glory, glory. Worship that word, that revealed word, your mate. Jesus Christ, the one and only. Do you know why you're so happy in this atmosphere here? It's where you come from. You come from the word. You are the word. In the beginning was you. 
Oh my, no wonder you got to shout and praise God. You're free. I'm free. Amen. I'm free to believe every word. Glory. You may be seated. All right, now notice Genesis 1 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. So then if God's image is male and female, then in Adam was male and female. Amen. Then if the image was male and female, then the person looking in the image is also male and female. Amen. If Adam was bride and groom in one, then Elohim was bride and groom in one. Pray, Logos was bride and groom in one. In Adam was Eve, not yet expressed. In Elohim was a bride, not yet expressed. Glory to God, amen. That was back there. Oh, to preach in this season is glorious. Brother, we've left the church members behind. We've left Mr. Make Believer behind. We shook him off on the first phase. Shook him off on the second phase. And on the third phase, God pulls up his wife, his little bride, and tells her the secrets. That was under the seventh seal. They didn't hang around to hear. They got offended and walked away. But where can we go? You alone have the words of eternal life. You may be seated. <clears throat> Amen. So if God's image was male and female, then in God was also male and female. Amen. And in the image of God, Adam was a spirit man. And in that spirit was a female spirit, a male spirit. And Adam put on flesh. And when he was in flesh, God put him into a deep sleep. And out of his side, he took Eve. 4,000 years later, Elohim, praise God, put on human flesh. Glory. He went into a deep sleep on the cross and out of his side came water, blood, spirit. Glory, I came out of his side back there. Oh my, 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 I'm coming down the horizontal rainbow to be expressed, to be manifested, to be proven that I was in him, to be part of the bride of Christ for this age. Oh, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. All right. You may be seated. Amen. Paul said he chose me in him before the foundation of the world. So I was in him. In Ephesians, Paul said, for we are members of his body, of his flesh and of his bones. That's what Adam said. She's flesh of my flesh and bone of my bones. He was the first Adam, but I'm in love with the second Adam. I'm preaching about the second Adam and his wife this morning. Glory, let us make man in our image. Doesn't that do something to you? Let us make man in our image. Glory to God. Your body is the image of the beast. But the spirit man was in the image of Elohim. Seven rainbows from glory. Oh, I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I'm going to look like my father pretty soon. Oh, pray I'm going to look like Elohim. El Elah Elohim. And the secret of how is coming forth in the message this morning. Amen. <clears throat> Oh, praise God. For this cause shall a man leave his mother and father and shall be joined unto his wife. And the two shall be one flesh. They always were one flesh in the garden. This is a great mystery. But I speak concerning Christ and the church. Paul's not talking about husband and wife. He's talking about Christ and the church. That's all he was talking about. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself and the wife see that she reverence her husband my brother andrew and sister pam they stayed a few days in sister ruth uh, uh, home and they listened to a message on sunday and brother coleman in 1996 spent the whole message on husbands and wives mm -hmm. put the husband in his place put the wife in her place all in one big love i'm looking forward to uh, praise god to hitting these areas I'm looking forward to these videos coming our way. But the same God is in the camp this morning. Amen. So nevertheless, let every husband love his wife. 
Let every wife reverence her husband. You may be seated. Amen. So praise God. Adam said, she's bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. And Jesus said, she's word of my word and spirit of my spirit. She's Elohim of my Elohim and Logos of my Logos. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Adam had the power to speak. Amen. To speak the mountain over here, you know, in the river. And he had the power to create. Brother Blewett, did he have the power to create? Sure he did. He was going to create you. Amen. He never had time. He never got around to it. But the power was in him to create. But when Adam sinned, the book went back to Elohim. You may be seated. In the breach, the title deed to the earth and to eternal life. When Adam forfeited it, then Satan's dirty hands, as Brother King spoke on, could not take it. So it went back to its original owner. God himself. We're going to find it in just a minute. There he sits on the throne with it in his hand. So the book went back to God. Adam had it. It was a book of names that he was supposed to bring forth. Mm -hmm. God rested on the Sabbath. Amen. He had a, a, the way he did it, he created one seed. And out of that seed, it would bring forth after its kind. Isn't that right? He only created one seed of every type. And then he rested. He put a law in that seed to reproduce. Um, in that first acorn, in that first uh, uh, mustard seed, was every future mustard seed and every tree that would come forth. Had to be. Amen. Oh my, my, my. And Adam had the book, every name in that book where he was supposed to speak in. But praise God, the devil got in there and he fell and that book went back to uh, the father. Satan's dirty, greasy, filthy hands was not going to get those mysteries in there. That was the book of mysteries. A book of names. He hasn't got access to that at all. That was a secret held in silence before the beginning for eons and eons and eons of time silence veiled this mystery in God's thoughts oh, Amen <clears throat> Glory to God he kept that secret right down through time and it was sealed and strapped up in a book Amen but when it broke the seventh seal had silence Amen oh God kept those mysteries a great secret you may be seated. It was a book of names. Those names are mysteries. So secret they were sealed up in a book. They were Elohim's thoughts. Mm -hmm. Amen held secret in eons of silence. Elohim dwelling with his thoughts. But there would come a time when he would express his thoughts into the Logos. Praise God. The big bang. God said, let there be. When God speaks it, thunders a blast. Glory to God. A great Blast a clap of thunder. Amen. And the universe broke out. Let there be light. Let there be a sun. Let there be stars. Oh my. But you know, Brother David Nanton was testifying. Because this convention took us back before the Big Bang. Before that great clap of thunder. And he saw in the airport and he came across to me dazed and blew my mind. He'd seen a Time magazine. And it was one of the older issues there. And it was on display. And it said, it's on the front page it said, the time before time. Scientists no longer believe the Big Bang was the beginning. God will get those scientists to preach this gospel for us. Before the Big Bang, I am. I was there, brother. Amen. It's a mystery to them, but it's revealed to us. Praise God. And, and as Elohim spoke to the Logos, you know, you see in nature, everything in nature, so many things. When they spawn, they bring forth thousands of eggs. And it comes forth. And they had to be fertilized. Here, everywhere. Oh, brother, what happened when Elohim spoke Logos? Thousands of word seeds went into the Logos. What was happening? God was reproducing himself. Oh, when the bride knows who she is. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thousands upon thousands of word seeds came out of Elohim into the Logos. And said, let us make man in our image. In our likeness, praise God, created he them. Mm -hmm. Oh, little bride, God is whispering his secrets to you. Amen, praise God. <coughs> you wasn't always down here. You were once somewhere else. 
Amen, amen, amen. You were once somewhere else. This is enough to make you forget your debts. Forget your worries. Forget about your son or your daughter. Praise God, they were there. How can they fail here? Glory. Just got to worship God and praise God. He's already done it. Abraham's covenant was already done it to Abraham's royal seed. I've already done it in Elohim. I already did it in Logos. Nothing down here can change what I've already done. He could swear by himself. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. He cannot lie. Glory to God. You shall be adopted. Oh, give him a shout. Amen, 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 amen. My, my, my. Glory, glory, glory. My, 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 my. Those thoughts in Elohim became expressed as word seeds in the Logos. Word seed. Each word seed was a future son or daughter. Each word seed was an attribute that would become flesh. I was there, brother. You were there. That's why the seven thunders have gathered you together. Glory to God, those seven thunders are the seven rainbows of Elohim but that said, let there be. I'm almost speaking in tongues. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let there be a David Nanton. Let there be a Bill Chapman. Let there be, praise God, amen. Let there be, let there be. Oh my, my, my. Glory. You may be seated. Amen. So therefore, a thought in Elohim became a word seed in the Logos when he spoke it. Lamb's Book of Life, the prophet said, Before the foundation of the world, God wrote your name in the Lamb's Book of Life by his spoken word. Glory to God, Amen. So when he said, Francis, he wrote your name in a book. You don't think Adam, with the book, walked around the Garden of Eden like this, do you? No, that would be a Catholic bishop. Hell, that would be a fallen angel, masquerading as a son of God. Blessed be God, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Not Adam, brother. He had the Holy Ghost. Amen. I always used to laugh in the Church of England. When I was seeking my father and I would have to go to these Church of England services, I didn't know anything else where to go. And they would stand there go, Oh God, take not thy Holy Spirit from us. <laughs> Don't take it from them. <laughs> it left thousands of years ago. <laughs> anyway, I'm free. <laughs> Just some little memories of my journey. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Thank God to be free. <laughs> Oh man, that great Jehovah Eagle flew over the barnyard one day and said, Kevin blew it! You're an eagle! Fly! I am the Word. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the root and offspring of David. I am Elohim and the Logos. I am Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. I am every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Amen, Father! What must I do? Flap your wings and fly! Yes, Lord! All those denominational chickens, they began to cluck and flap for the king. But at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light. It was at Charing Cross Hospital we first saw the light with Sister Liz. The hospital was built in the shape of a cross. And there God ordained for us to receive the light. My, my, my. We never looked, not going back, Brother Chapman. Never been back to any place you've come out of, have you? Glory. Well, well, well. Glory. Amen. You may be seated. Listen, I'm trying to get a point to you. You may be seated. Adam did not masquerade around with a book like this. Amen. Thinking, now one of these days I'm going to speak all these names in here. Better start reading them. Amen. And so forth. He wasn't like that. Amen. But the prophet said that when God spoke your name, then that was your name going in the book. Amen. Then the book of names is all those words seized together. Then the Lamb's Book of Life is the Logos. Amen. Amen, Brother Tim. Amen, the Logos was with Adam.
Glory to God. Walking with him in the cool of the evening. Yes, sir. Let me read some more. You may be seated. Let's nail it down for you. Amen. God forbid I should speak my own thoughts. Is that Brother Blewett's idea or is he guessing? Or? <laughs> God shut my mouth from anything ever that I would guess or presume at. I only want to be an echo of an echo of my father's voice. Amen. You may be seated. Let me read this quote. So before the foundation of the world, God wrote your name in the Lamb's book of life by his spoken word. And sent Christ the sacrifice to buy to redeem that same group. That he had wrote their names in the Lamb's book of life before the foundation of the world. He loved everybody. He would have he wanted to save everybody, but he could only redeem those that could be redeemed. That were there. Amen. That know him from the beginning. So therefore, amen. When Elohim spoke, before he spoke, you were a thought in his mind. I mean, he, he, if, if Brother Branham said that he would know how many times a gnat would bat its eyelid. Every gnat. Amen. Throughout all creation, every day. He knowed all that. How perfectly he knew that thought. Everything about it. Everything in you that he wanted in that thought was he knew it it was perfectly and when he expressed it and spoke it that word was perfect Adam for the Bible said Adam was a spoken word amen Adam was a spoken word he was the first born son of God you say brother Blewett, the Bible says Jesus was the first begotten the prophet said yeah that's right he, he was the first one begotten in that way out, out of a woman but Adam was created the way they should have come wasn't supposed to come through the womb of a woman Adam was the first created born son by a spoken word but Jesus was also a spoken word son but he was begotten amen he's the only begotten son like that do you ever wonder about that scripture the only begotten son of God how their creeds they trot it off the only begotten son of God full of grace and truth you see, I did some years in the CFE. Amen. Oh, but therefore, we're all sons of God. Amen. That doesn't make Jesus the only son of God. He was the only begotten one in that manner. Amen. But we all going to come by the same thing, the spoken word. And, and the good news is, you've already been spoken. Amen. You're not hoping you're going to be spoken someday. No, Abraham's royal seed, I've already spoken you. I predestinated you, me, you in me before the foundation of the world. And then I spoke you into the Logos. And you became a word seed. Glory to God. You kinosed from a thought to a word seed. And that was God writing your name in the Lamb's book of life. There was no paper back there. There was no pens. It's not this kind of a book. It was a spoken word book. It was an invisible to the open, naked eye book. There were no eyes to see it anyhow. Amen. It was a book of names of spoken word. Now, if I speak a word, can you see it? You can't see a word. It's not yet visible. This whole world was created out of things. Invisible. Words. Elohim's words. Logos words. He spoke everything without... Not him was anything made that was made. In the beginning was the Logos. And the Logos was with Elohim. And the Logos was Elohim. There's not two of them, there's one of them. Look in the mirror. There was only one Adam. There's only one God. Amen, amen. Praise God. But then when the Logos became flesh and dwelt among us, then we could see him. We could touch him, feel him. That life that we knew with him, that we had with him before the foundation of the world. Doesn't all the Bible come together? Now the seals are off the book. God bless you. Amen, amen. I'm doing fine. 22 minutes. Amen. Must be about halfway. You may be seated. Then the Logos is the book of life. And each word seed in the Logos is a name in the Lamb's book of life. Shall I say that slowly? Each word seed in the Logos is a name in the book of life. Same thing. 
since I saw my name. Amen. Amen. You are a word seed in the Logos. That's your name in the book of life. <clears throat> now in the message, the Lamb's book of life, Puerto Rico, uh, 1982. We've listened to part of it already. Praise God. He thought of you. Amen. He spoke you. He placed you in the Logos. He put you in the Logos as a word seed. Amen. The word seed in the Logos. Then here it is. The word seed in the Logos became your name written in the book. Amen, amen. Glory. Did you get it? The word seed placed in the Logos became your name written in the Lamb's book of life before the foundation of the world. Glory. When you see the Logos, you see the book. And all those little seeds in there, spawned out from Elohim, is in the Logos. Praise God, all those names in the book, is in the Logos, waiting for their day. Waiting to become from a word seed into a real seed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. A word seed isn't a real seed yet, it's a word seed. Let there be, it's just a word. It's invisible. It hasn't even become a seed yet. It's a promise of a seed. It's coming down the pipe. It's gone from Elohim to Logos. But it's going to end up as Romans 8, the manifestation of the sons of God in Hancroft Chapel. Amen in Bexhill. Wherever you are. God be praised. You may be seated. <clears throat> Amen. You're not getting tired yet, I hope. Oh man, there's the stimulation of where you come from, where we're going is enough to make you rock back and forth, amen, and jump and shout and praise God. Amen, praise God, praise God. Amen, just a few more and, and then we'll move. You may be seated. All right, he thought of you. So the book of, this is still the, uh, the Lamb's book of life. Amen, the book of life was written or expressed before the foundation of the world. He thought of you in Elohim. The thought of you in Elohim was expressed as a word seed in the Logos, which is your word or your gene or your germ or your name. Amen. Now I'm getting happy because I'm just, just this thought just gets me going. Amen. Oh there's something in you. <clears throat> your name is a mystery. Your na- it was a thought in Elohim. It's a name in the book. It's a word seed in the Logos. But where is it now? Amen. You're a walking mystery. Not Kevin Blewett is a mystery, but the thought, the word seed, the name is a mystery. I have another name. I give you a white rock and in there a new name. It says a new name, but actually it's an eternal name. In other words, John said in 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 his epistles, he said, a new commandment I give you. At first it sounded like a new commandment. But then he said, this commandment is, is, is an eternal commandment. Love. L-O-V-E. Elohim. <clears throat> a new name I give you, but actually it's Elohim. L-O-V-E. Love. It's an eternal name. That's your mystery. Not Leslie Suicide Pillar. Not Naomi Bryden. Not Matthew King. That is an earthly thing that we're not interested in. God is not interested in that. He's not interested in your flesh. He's not interested in your spirit. He's interested in your soul. Where he hid that word seed. Way down on the inside, inside. Glory to God. That spawn, praise God, that came out has hidden itself in some dirt right down in the soul. Oh my. Glory to God. You may be seated. Christ is the mystery, page 75. Now you see the seals. When he was in his mediatorial work back there, redeeming. But someday he comes forth to get this book that he's redeemed. And all that's in the book would be him. The book is him. All that's in the Logos would be him. For that's the believer, the words in the book. You're not the believer. The word seed from the book. That's the believer. That's why you said amen to the seven thunders. Amen to Jesus Christ. Amen to every word. There's a believer down on the inside, inside. 
Oh, praise God, praise God. Not in your flesh, not in your spirit, but right down in your soul. That's the believer. The word's in the book. And the word is him. And all that's in it. And he comes forth for this book of redemption. My God, my God. He's redeemed it. And he's coming to get the book. Which is, amen. You may be seated. Amen. <coughs> Glory be to God. But now I said that you're not yet a real seed, but you're a word seed when you were in the, in the Logos. That was a word seed. It was a spoken word. So in the message, God's power to transform. The prophet said, God is the only creator. Satan can impersonate anything, but he cannot create. Therefore, he created by his word. He sent his word. So all the seeds that he had placed upon the earth, he formed those seeds by his own word. Amen. Amen. And there was nothing else to make the seed out of except his word. So therefore, before it was an acorn, it was a word. Amen. Let there be an oak tree. And here was the word seed for oak tree. And then later on that seed formed itself into an acorn. Amen. And then it was no longer a word seed, it was a real acorn. Amen. From a word seed to a real seed that you could plant it in dirt and bring forth a tree. And it'll bring forth more acorns. Right on down and it'll bring forth more trees and more acorns. And the life will keep moving down. But the original seed is the acorn. And everything that's in that oak tree is in the acorn. And everything that was in the acorn was in the word that said, let there be an oak tree. All right. I'm talking about the Logos. My, you may be seated. Amen. So the word seed was there, he said, uh, before the real seed was ever formed. Before the acorn, it was a word. And the word formed the seed. Amen. You see, he made the world out of things that does not appear. All these words are invisible. Amen. He made the world by his word. God spoke everything into existence. So before an acorn was an acorn, it was a word. <clears throat> it was a word seed. Amen. And the acorn was formed out of the word seed. And then it was a real seed. A real acorn. And the visible acorn was made out of invisible word. And the worlds are framed of things which do not appear. And in you is a word seed. Amen. A word seed from the Logos is in you now. You may be seated. Now you are a threefold being. There's only one of you, but there's a body on the outside, and then there's a spirit on the inside, and there's a soul on the inside inside. And your body has five senses to contact the world here. See, taste, smell, feel, touch. And then your spirit has five senses to contact the spiritual, I mean, the, the spirits of other people. Reasons, affections, conscience, memory, how you communicate, and so forth. But the soul has only one sense. Amen. Amen. It's either faith or unbelief. It was either a word seed or it wasn't. But if it was a word seed... It's faith every day, all the time. Reasoning may doubt. Your flesh may doubt. But that soul never doubts. That's the believer. The word that's in the book. Oh, my name is in the book. My name is in the book. Oh, my, my, when the bride knows who she is. A revelation's coming on you today. Glory to God. Don't worry about your flesh. The devil can lie through the five senses. Don't worry about your spirit. Reasoning, affections, conscience, memory. The devil can lie through those and buffet your spirit and blast you to smithereens. But way down the anchor holds. It's the soul always did believe, always will believe. It knows who it is. Wait till that word seed becomes a real seed. How? By the baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire. That word seed will become a real seed. Amen, amen, amen. It'll begin to grow. Up will come faith. Up will come virtue. Up will come knowledge. Why the seed has been planted a real seed. 
in predestinated good ground. Amen, amen. The unbeliever will never become a believer. The believer will never become an unbeliever. You are what you are. Glory. Jesus could not help being who he was. He was the Messiah. He was the Logos. He was Melchizedek. Before he ever came out of Mary's womb, he was who he was. And so were you. And so are you. Oh my. Oh, amen, Brother Thomas. Praise God. Amen. Nothing can stop us now. This message is separating out everything which is temporal from that which is eternal. Amen. This will circumcise your heart from reasoning, imagination, everything and bring right down to the real seed in the soul. My, 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 my. Isn't that wonderful? Glory to God, you're a threefold being. The body has five senses. The spirit has five senses. But the soul has only one sense. Faith. Amen every time. When you didn't believe you reasoned this, but your soul said amen. amen. Glory to God, your soul knows where it comes from. It knows where it's going to. It comes from God, it's going back to God. It's as much a part of God as Jesus is part of God. It can no more be lost than Jesus could be lost. That soul is the word. That soul has no beginning. Therefore it cannot die. Because it was never born. You were born, your, your body was born, but your soul was never born. And if it was never born, how can it die? Amen, Sister Ancia. Oh, my eyes shall not die, but live and declare the word of God for this day. Praise God, though the skin worms destroy the body, though the liars deceive my spirit, but my soul shall see God. My soul comes from God and that my soul is going back to God. Glory to God, oh my, worship the Lamb. He's making it real to you now. The seven spirits are here. Let us make man in our image. It's here now. Glory. Oh, before you were sick, you were healed. Before you were lost, you were found. Before you were backslid, you were already redeemed. <coughs> Before you had bills and debts and problems and worries, you were a thought in, the, in Elohim and a word seed in the Logos. And when you go back to God again, all those things you're leaving behind you. So don't worry about them. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be taken care of. Just love Jesus and worship him with a perfect worship. Amen. Glory, I've got just over 10 minutes left. Amen. Glory. But I'm in eternity now, brother. Time is no more. I'm in heavenly places. I'm before the beginning, in the beginning, from the beginning. My. So did you catch that revelation? Amen. What was a thought in Elohim and a word seed in the Logos is now your soul. Who you really are. You are a believer. I'm not talking to you, Kevin Blewett, Tim Brown. I'm not talking, I'm talking to that soul. You are a believer. That's why you shout. That's why you say amen. That's why the eagle flying over the barnyard sounded better to you than the cluck, cluck, cluck of the denominational spirits. There's a seed in your soul. That's why you're rejoicing now. There's a seed in your soul. Now the devil's job is to persuade you and reason with you. Amen. That maybe he's got a word seed in his soul. Maybe she's got a word seed in her soul. But you, I'm sorry. God didn't think about you. He wasn't even thinking of you. Amen. Like in the passion of Christ, the way the devil was there talking to him in the garden. He'll talk to you. He's allowed to talk to you. But no matter how much talking to me he does, he can't take it out of me. It'll come in one ear, it'll go out the other ear. There may be some mind battles in between. So what? That won't change anything.
Amen. If it goes in this ear and it comes out there, there's a mind in there that's going to... Were, brother, give you nightmares, dreams, worries. I'm not part of the bride. The devil, that's right, you're getting it now. Oh man, he's preaching fear and unbelief. I'm not part of the bride. Yeah, you're getting anointed with his spirit. But all of that can't change what's on the inside here. Seven thunders give faith. Seven thunders gathers the bride. Glory to God, you were in Elohim and you were in the Logos. And you're in Christ today. By the baptism of the Holy Spirit, we are all sealed into one body. Amen. My, my, my. I would love the baptism of the Holy Ghost if I didn't have it. But brother, pray, I'd rather have this in my soul. And no baptism of the Holy Spirit yet. Than to be baptized and refilled 50 times a week. And nothing in there. Who does that bunch think they are? All that noise and all that screaming and hollering and following New York and everything who do they think they are oh man I wouldn't want to be in that though I could have had the Holy Ghost 50 times a day oh man I'm going to prove it to you in a moment um, you may be seated oh man <coughs> so therefore did you catch that I know you caught it <laughs> praise God it echoed back that was all that was on my heart this morning was to build up and drop that one that was all I came for this morning. Amen. A few weeks ago, I just came to turn the cloud. Amen. But the, that was the one that was on my heart. And I thank God he, he, he let it sink into the sockets of your soul. Glory. The body has five senses. The spirit has five senses. But that soul has only got one sense. The devil can reason with the five senses in the flesh. He can give you symptoms and make you think you're sick. He can reason with the five senses of your spirit. Amen. He can persuade you that you're not the bride. But he can't do anything about that soul. It is faith. It is God. It's the word seed in you. It's eternal. It wasn't even born. So it cannot die. Amen. It always was. It was in uh, Melchizedek without beginning of days. Without ending of life. No mother, no father. Praise God. It's a, a, it always was Whew. that's what's in you that's why you burn to worship and burn to praise God something in there wants to be express itself the way you did back there when you saw this great plan of redemption oh my you may be seated Satan can get into your five senses and lie to you but that sixth sense is a super sense the prophet said it belongs only to the Christian now you know why. Now you know why. It belongs only to the Christian. Because only a Christian has a word seed in their soul. Amen. Satan will tell you through your spirit, reason, aff affection, conscience, memory, you did this and you did that and you don't deserve this. And there's no hope for you now. Amen. He can buffet your flesh. He can buffet your spirit. But there's not one thing he can do about your soul. It was a word seen in the Logos before Satan was ever created, before he was ever even thought of. It was. I am. Amen. That's the seed in your soul. It cannot die because it was never born. I shall not die but live and declare the works of God. Amen. I had a testimony here from Sister, Sister Esther. You may be seated. Sister Esther Brooks. And it was just so in line with the message this morning that uh, I asked, uh, can I share it with the church? Dear Brother Blewett, thank you so much for your time and continuous prayers. I wanted to share with you the work that Christ has done in delivering me from such a binding spirit that glazed my eyes from seeing who I really am. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, it's happening all over the place. <laughs> Glory to God in the highest. Oh, you shall know the truth. The truth shall set you free. I'm in free from the five senses of the flesh. Free from the five senses of the spirit. Amen. Free to believe. You may be seated. Amen. I was listening to two messages this week that have so totally set me free. Brother Coleman was making comments and it was like everything he said was just for me. Answering the many questions that baffle me. And then he said, God has to show you who you are. Is the bride finding out who she is? God has to show you who you are 
<clears throat> because he is ready to pour out the Holy Ghost. Is that why this is happening now? He's setting you in the book of life, ready for a rushing mighty wind to sweep in and turn the word seeds into real seeds. Oh, my glory. You may be seated. He's, that's the way they'll keep worshiping the word. <laughs> Amen. God loves to be worshiped and he's the revealed word. And that was him just coming into you. It wasn't word, it was revealed word. It was revealed to you. That was the, your mate in the building. This, not me. I'm just nearby, like you. But Jesus, the revealed word, mated with you just there. Gave you some more revelation. Oh my. No wonder you've got to shout. Glory to God. God has to show you who you are because he is ready to pour out the Holy Ghost. He spoke about the two spirits that operate within the framework of the church. I realized in God's perfect plan, he has brought me through this to take my love and desire for him to new heights. Where I know that every promise in the book is mine. And was so before the beginning. My name was put there and nothing can tamper with it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Sister Esther. That's my message to you this morning. Nothing can tamper with that soul. That word C from the Logos. Amen. There's nothing the devil can do about it. He's as powerless before you as before Christ. You may be seated. Amen. I was in his mind before the beginning. Redeeming me was part of his perfect plan. Tonight I have listened to another message and what totally blasted me was the realization that although the past spirits and life may attack my spirit and body, they cannot enter my soul, which was in Christ before the beginning. Now you know why. The seed is in my soul. And no matter how Satan may bash my spirit, that seed in my soul will come to life. My mind is blown. What an idiot I have been not to be in church. God bless you and thank you so much for your prayers and support through the last few months. Amen. Sister Esther. Sister Esther, God bless you. My, you don't know what that did when I read that. Glory to God in the highest. Amen, amen. God is in London, changing those seeds that's in London. He won't lose one of them. None can pluck them from the Father's hand. If you were in the thought of God, what can you do about it? There's nothing, no circumstances, nothing that can change that. Let me remind you. You may be seated. It's hard to see in church age. Brother Branham's talking about the book. At the very start of our study, let it be known. That there is not one scripture that teaches that God is presently compiling a record of names. This was all done before the foundation of the world, as we will point out shortly. We will actually show by scripture that multitudes who are not even born again will go into eternal life. Mm -hmm. There's many things yet to blow your minds. As strange as this may sound, it is certainly true. <clears throat> we will also show that there is a group of people whose names, having been placed on that record... Before the foundation of the world, Amen. cannot, Hallelujah. under any circumstances, Amen. have those names removed. Amen. I'm sorry. Amen. Under no circumstances whatsoever can that group that was in the eternal section have their names taken out of the book. Amen. Amen. There's another part of the book. He'll give them eternal life. He'll wipe their tears. What have I done? You gave water to one of these. He'll give them eternal, they're not the bride, but he'll, he'll give it to them. But there's another part that was a word seed in the Logos there, in the eternal section of the book. Mm-hmm. We've got a lot to worship God for, haven't we? Just uh, praise him in the half hour. Brother, for about the space of half an hour, to thank him for what he did for you. That when you walk through the streets of London, there's darkness all around you, unbelief, and there's a word seed in your soul, eternal with the eternal that cannot be lost. Brother, that when you're knocking on the doors of the houses, there's a word seed knocking on that door, looking out through those eyes. Oh my. This is the gospel. Predestination is very simple. Do you want to hear predestination? 
It's very simple. This is it. Elohim Logos Bride. That's the gospel. It's that simple. That was another echo. My, 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 my. That's it. The grace of God. You got nothing to do with it. Just amazing grace. Amen. Brother, I've got two minutes left. You may be seated. Amen. Do you believe now? That's the title of a quote here, a message. <laughs> Amen. Your soul was made up before the foundation of the world. Do you now believe? Your flesh maybe wasn't. Your spirit maybe wasn't. But your soul was made up before the foundation of the world. That bit was. When God made man in his image. Amen. Things that are to be. You say, well, I prophesy. So did Caiaphas. So did Balaam. Prophecy is not it. That has nothing. I got the baptism of the Holy Spirit. That still has nothing to do with it. Shocking, isn't it? That's only a temporal gift for you. But the real gift is your soul down in there. Thus said the prophet. The real gift is your soul. When the baptism of the Holy Spirit comes upon that, it'll turn into a real seed. But brother, when you've got that there, you've made it. Made it before the foundation of the world. <laughs> Amen. Spoken word is the original seed. And what makes you believe the word of God and turn down these other things is because there's something in you. My, way back yonder, you were, you were made to live forever. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Oh, the truth shall set you free. What are you worried about? You're predestinated. There's not, nothing to upset you. There's trials to perfect you. But praise God, you were made to live forever. Live forever, O oh Queen. Glory to God, I'm saluting you. Amen. By revelation, you may be seated. So receiving the Holy Spirit did not make you a son. You were already a son. You were already a daughter. You were all, always saved. Deny it if you can. The prophet said in Smyrna and church age, we did not become seed by the rebirth. We were seed and therefore were reborn. For only the elect can be reborn. Because we were seed is the reason we could be quickened. In non-seed there is nothing to quicken. A piece of ground, you water it. There's no seed in there. Well, how can anything grow? But the sun only comes up to, to quicken those seeds. Jesus Christ came forth, died upon the cross and accomplished redemption and thereby placed us as sons. He did not make us sons for we were already his sons. But he placed us as sons. For as long as we were in the world, in the flesh, we could not be recognized as his sons. We were held captive by the devil. But we were sons nonetheless. In the world, wandering about here and there, you were still sons and daughters. And hear this, the prophet says. And because you are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts. That's why he sent the spirit, because you're sons. Into your hearts, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. He sent the spirit because you're a son. Oh, my, my, my. So when you were a sinner in the world, there was always a word seed in you. Amen. You may be seated. And Brother Branham said, a son of God can go a long time before he recognizes that he is a son. It can take a while. But finally, brother, the light shines and the inspiration, the thunders roar, the lightning flashes. And I know my Redeemer lives. <laughs> Glory to God. Where was that? <laughs> yes, uh, there's something on the inside, inside that just lives forever. <laughs> my, 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 my. Glory. We're going back to Job, brother. Job is the oldest book in the Bible. It was written before Genesis. Before the thing, Moses wrote those, but Job was before that. Amen. Job was the oldest book in the Bible. And right there, that great revelation is what happens to the end time bride. Before Genesis was Job. And right at the end of the book, here comes a bride that knows her Redeemer liveth, that Job back there saw the Redeemer on the earth in this day. He was a prophet. I see him standing on the earth in the last days. He saw a vision. Oh, let these words be inscribed with an iron pen. 
I'm prophesying. Though the skin worms destroy this body and everything, he'll stand in that last day and they'll get a revelation of what I got. I am vile. I am nothing. I stink. And he was talking about his good self. He was a good man. Amen. He wasn't talking about his bad self. He was perfect. God boasted on him, on his good self. But he allowed the devil to strip him right down, to get right down to the inside, inside. When the flesh was finished, when the spirit was finished, all of a sudden, pray the lightning flashed. The thunder, there was something on the inside, Sister Esther. Glory that could not be lost. And when those Elohim met Logos, Hallelujah. <laughs> what is the word seed in you? It's the Logos. What is charity? The seven spirits. Elohim. And when Elohim came to Logos. Now, now Logos in Job. Job knows he's no good. He said I'm vile. We are witnesses. He said I'm no good. I rue the day my mother even brought me forth. Okay, now Logos, let us make man. In our image. Glory to God and the seven rainbows came down upon that word seed in the Logos. Come on Job, up come virtue, up come knowledge, up come temperance, up come patience, up come godliness. Not your godliness, God's godliness. Not your patience, God patience. The word seed became a real seed. Oh, that's the revival for the last days, sons and daughters of God. I know my Redeemer liveth. Glory to God, Elohim said to Logos, in you, let us make man in our image. It's time to be restored back into the image of God again. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, musicians, come on up. My, my, my. Glory, glory. Amen. The lightning flashed, the thunders roared, and he screamed out, I know Elohim is here. Elohim spoke to Logos. He wasn't talking to Job anymore. He said to the Logos, where was thou? Pray when I laid the foundations of the earth. Job wasn't there, the natural, but that Logos was there. That word in him. Do you understand? The Logos is the mechanics in you. That seed in your soul. Amen. It's no longer up there. It's, it's, it's the time for that word seed. It's, it's your age. You held back, waited for thousands of years. Maybe hundreds of thousands of years. But now this is your age. And your word seed has come into your flesh. To be manifested in your skins. Oh, we ought to be the most worshipping people on the face of the earth. Amen. You tried to be a good Christian. <clears throat> you tried to be good. You tried to live the word. But it's filthy rags. You're a complete failure. You were doomed to failure from the beginning. Amen. Your flesh can't do it and your spirit can't do it. Amen. But God got there first. Glory, glory. Sorry, Satan. While you were working on my spirit, while you were working on my flesh, God already got there. Virgin words, seed in my soul. Amen, amen. It's too late. Glory to God. Amen. And now in 2004, here comes Elohim, the seven thunders from page 304, to utter their voices to the Logos, the seed in your soul. Let us make man in our image. My, my, my. Woo. Glory, that seven thunder seed is going to live. Sarah, next 28 days, time of life, I will visit you, Sarah. Elohim and Logos will meet again. Let us make man in our image. Page 304 will utter its voices to that group. Up will come faith and virtue and knowledge. And God will see the statue of a perfect man. He'll say, hmm, it is good. Amen. Hallelujah, it is good. That looks like the first one. Amen, that's how Adam looked. That's better. Glory to God, back in his image. <clears throat> Do you understand we are back to the original seed again? The same seed that came forth at the beginning has gone down. There's been carriers, carriers, Luther, Wesley, denominations. But it's back to the original seed. Amen. Amen. Oh, 
Do you understand me? We're back again to manifested sons of God that all creation has been waiting and groaning for those word seeds to become real seeds. Waiting for page 304 to utter its seven rainbow voices to that group that can take the word of God. It'll slice and cut, they'll close the heavens, they'll do whatever they want to do. Amen. It'll be that word seed made flesh. It'll be a Bible bride. It'll be mechanics and dynamics together. It'll be Elohim and Logos together. Mrs. Jesus Christ. Oh my, my, my. Glory. You'll be creating like your father. Amen. And Brother Thuku gave you a testimony. While he was wandering across America, traveling here, he came across a spoken word limb. A leg that had been cut off by the doctors was back again. It wasn't the same old leg. It was a new created leg Amen. that had been created and put back on there for him. Amen. What does that tell you? That tells you that somewhere an original seed has passed through. One like Adam has been back on the earth again. Creating leg, creating a jawbone. Telling the sun stand still. Snowstorm go back. Before the doctor's wife touches my wife. Let there be, let there be, let there be, let there be. Glory be to God. What are you in the image of your father? Hallelujah, hallelujah. He's the only one who can create. The devil can impersonate gifts. He can speak in tongues. He can impersonate healing. But he cannot create. He can only pervert. He cannot create. But your father in heaven can create. Praise God. He sold Adam. Go and multiply. Go and replenish the earth. Go and create Adam. You're a chip off the old block. Hallelujah. You're in the image of your father. Let us make man in our image. And Brother Thuku found a created limb. I'm telling you there has been a man on earth in the image of his father. Glory. Oh, my, my, my. Praise God. Amen. Waved over us for our acceptance. There's going to be more. There's going to be more. Brother Paul Ciccone gave the testimony. And you heard it in Penn Harris about Brother David Thompson. And when the little son in the womb of his wife had a hydrocephalus, water head, Amen. Uh, asymmetrical, enlarged, and so on. And Brother Coleman prayed and said, May uh, his head be totally symmetrical. Amen. 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 And he went back and the doctor looked at the screen and so forth and said, My, this baby's head is perfectly symmetrical. Amen. I hear the sound of abundance of rain. I see a cloud like a man's hand. I see Romans 8 coming forth. I see the manifestation of the sons of God. Praise God coming to take it back again. Oh my, my, my. And you are the people that God chose. He put a word seed in your soul. That only can believe. Glory. And that word seed will become a real seed by the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And up will come the stature of a perfect man. Capped by charity. My, my last quote here. Very short. God's power to transform. He is the only creator. There is no other creator but God. Satan cannot create at all. And they said many things about Brother Branham. They called him a false prophet. They said he went off the rails. Amen. They've persuaded many to stay away from that ministry. Amen. And those false anointed, they can speak in tongues. Amen. They can, uh, uh, they can uh, do miracles and so forth. But when I found out there was a limb that had been created down here, Amen. they are stumped. Amen. Sister Manette, they are stumped. They will leave it a stump, in other words. Amen. Oh, that was a son of God. That was not a false prophet. Amen. That was not a, f a fallen angel. Only God could create and his sons. That was a son of God, brother. That was Malachi 4, St. Luke th uh, 1730, Revelation 10, 7, William Marion Branham, and I'm identified with him. <laughs> Glory to God, the devil cannot impersonate spoken word creation. Spoken word, he cannot. 
You can get those ministers. Son, stand still. Moon, nothing will happen, brother. But a son of God, son, stand still. Brother, moon, hang over Ashelon. That's it. That's a word seen in the Logos. A thought in Elohim. A manifested son of God in the last days. The, the work is finished. We're here. God has finished his purpose. There's only one thing left. The bride to slip her arm around the groom and go back to Eden. God bless you.